Yo, what is going on YouTube? Today I wanted to go over the Street Fighter 6 announcement trailer that was actually just announced earlier today as I had um, kind of uh, reacted to the state of play late. Um, go check that out. But um, uh, it says Metro City up here soon here. Uh, I don't really look at like the little Easter egg stuff on here. I'm just going to kind of break down some of the stuff we see in the trailer. As I'm very curious on certain things that are shown in this trailer. I'm also gonna turn it down some as well um, because of the music and such. Well, I'll keep it up for a minute. So here we see Luke. When you he, go looking for strength. He appeared in um, Street Fighter V as a DLC character. He um, looks a lot different than he did in Street Fighter V. I will actually show you real quick what he looked like. So as you can see, he was introduced in Street Fighter V. He was actually the final DLC character for the game. He still has his tattoos and stuff, but here he had like a interesting Chad type look to him with the blonde hair, um, uh, his gloves and everything. I think they have a similar color now. Uh, no, no, they're different colors. So they completely changed this character the way that he looked. And uh, that's really good because honestly, I think his new design is actually... Uh, it's actually better than his previous design. All right, so going back to the trailer, we see Luke boxing right here. Uh, the animations look so sick. Um, I mean, even if this is a CG trailer right here, I mean, this character looks really, really fun and really cool in this one. Um, as I turn that down. Um, so uh, this, is, this is like a city that we're looking at here. Um, a big city, which, uh, isn't just for a stage, um, it says Metro City, a bunch of people with boxes on their heads, now this, that's one thing that I'm interested in, is, uh, th this, this stuff right here, um, is this, th this basically confirms we have a campaign, single player campaign is definitely confirmed for Street Fighter 6 at launch, so that is really good. Um, this I don't know if this is a character specifically in the game or if that's someone that is just part of the campaign or someone new or what but it looks like maybe this might actually have a create your own character thing um, and it's got it's not open world I mean there's no way it's Street Fighter although that would be really cool um, if it was uh, but it looks like we're going through Metro City and um, I can't believe um, we're seeing this kind of stuff for uh, Street Fighter 6. This is very interesting. Um, hang on, I, I'll go back one. I'm trying to get the face. I can't really get it. No, I can't get the face, but uh, this could be a create your own character situation with Street Fighter 6, and I think that's really awesome. You see him climbing a ladder right here from down there where he was. I think that's where he was. Uh, we give shape to your dreams. Um, so it looks like he's going from point A to point B to maybe fight some guys. Uh, it's interesting that he did a shore you can right there. Um, because uh, maybe you get certain items. I don't know how this is going to work, you know. Um, because he's doing stuff outside of 1v1 fights of Street Fighter. So I'm wondering what... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm super interested. And then over here, it looks like he went there probably to fight those guys. Uh, I don't know about this location. I'm so interested in what this one, what this is. Because Street Fighter V didn't have a campaign when it first came out. And when it did, it was kind of just kind of sloppily put together um, as a late game kind of thing that people were like, oh, this should have been at launch. Uh, yeah, it looks like you interact with all the different NPCs and stuff, too. So, uh... Yeah, we're getting a full-on campaign, it looks like, which uh, I think that's really, really neat that we're getting a full-on campaign for this game. Chun-Li, I love this design um, because of the fact that she's looking a lot more Asian than she ever has, which is awesome. And graphically, this is looking amazing. Whether this is a CG trailer or not, when you see the actual gameplay, still fantastic. I love the fact that they kept Ryu with his beard and such, brought that back, made him look a little bit older and everything looks smoother. Now, this character right here, I don't... It, I feel like that's a new playable character that they're teasing here, but I don't know. It could just be someone in either the campaign, or it could be a created character. I don't think it's a created character though, because this doesn't look 
this this doesn't look like a created character. This looks like this is a new character that's official in the game uh, that we haven't seen before. And then this guy is also a new character, but you see him throughout the whole trailer. Um, I wasn't sure at first, but yeah. Uh, this is a new character. Uh, looks like he does like the Drunken Fist stuff mixed in with breakdancing, which I love. I think that's really cool. You can see Luke and him. And this was something that I was like, wait, what? Tag team? I don't think we're getting tag battles, but it would be sick if we did. Like, if we got tag battles and 1v1s in this game, plus a campaign that could be semi-open with different things to do outside of just fighting, dude... Like, that'd be, that'd be so cool. Um, I, I don't know though, this might just be a 1v1 thing, game regardless, and they're just kind of, this is just kind of a gimmick type thing for the trailer. Um, Jamie is his name, okay. Uh, then we got Chun-Li and Ryu. We know four characters so far, but technically there's five because they tease one at the very end as well. Um, the fighting looks sick. I love the animations and like the, the steam or whatever that comes off of them, the clouds, like, like, that's so cool. And then the backgrounds, like, uh, I'm loving the stages. The stages are looking really cool, really clean as well. Chun-Li's looking better than ever. Um, the colors, man. It really reminds me of, like, Street Fighter 2 type days, like, where things, like, the colors really would, like, pop and stuff. Uh, I, I love that it's very colorful. Um, as I said, he was a break dancer. Doing, he's doing, Ryu's doing his typical Hadoukens and stuff. I don't know what this uh, green thing that he does is because that wasn't a parry. Uh, it was just part of it was just part of a combo. I, I don't know enough about when it comes to mechanics or Street Fighter and stuff. I don't. Although I watch people who are heavy into this stuff, I I don't know enough about like talking about the different mechanics and stuff. When so I apologize for when it comes to breaking down the trailer. Um, uh, but we see in the background there's a lot going on in that stage. This stage, uh, I don't know where that is, but I'm hoping with this game that you you, you are able to create your own character. We see Chun-Li doing her uh, her uh, uh, V-Trigger. No, I don't think it's her V-Trigger, is it? I don't know if they have V-Triggers in this one or not. I, I, I don't, like I said, I don't know enough of what's going on. I'm just kind of breaking down the trailer. Uh, you guys can help me out in the comment section below. Uh, with things, um, but I think that uh, it's pretty cool what we're seeing. Luke is like killing a dude there. Uh, this new guy, interesting looking dude. They're making these characters like really like insanely like ripped and stuff, and I'm totally, I'm like totally for that. I don't care. Like, like, look at that. Ugh. Okay, I don't know. Um, but uh, and it said Battle Hub right there, and the new logo. Of course, we got a new logo for Street Fighter Six as well um then it says battle hub so i didn't think about this but this might be this might actually be like a hub no no way there's a hub world wait actually you know what there might actually be a hub world you might actually have your own character that you go around this hub world when you're not in like the main campaign game areas um this might be a hub world actually that you use your character character to walk around in to be able to go to it says game center over there extreme i don't know why i'm pointing uh game center extreme battle hub it says battle hub like all over so i'm wondering if this is a little hub section for street fighter that i think that'd be really cool to be able to go to either online battles uh offline battles um uh campaign or whatever you name it i think that'd be interesting and having customizations for your character yeah, that'd be that'd be a really big deal. Uh, and then we got a new challenger here, Kimberly, and I think she's on roller skates. I want to say. Um, so that's very interesting as well. Uh, but that's basically it. But uh, it just came to me that this looks like it could be a hub area because it says Battle Hub. Um, but I'm not sure. And then of course we get the logo and um, Street Fighter V. I did not realize was actually not on the Xbox One. So we're going to be getting this one on the Xbox Series X and S, and this game is coming out in 2023. Um, so it's going to be on all platforms except Nintendo Switch, naturally. Uh, could it come there one day? I don't know, maybe. But um, that's not what it's showing as of right now. Um, but uh, looking at this, I mean, 
sure you can tell like like this shot's pretty good some shots you know it, it still needs a little bit of work you can tell but i'm so interested in what this game is outside of online battles versus 1v1 whether it has 2v2 tag battles uh whatever else i'm, I'm super curious but i don't know let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below like the video if you did enjoy subscribe to the channel if you had not have not already as we talk about different video games uh video game news uh all kinds of different stuff i don't know check it out and i'll see you guys all in the next video later